Hi everybody, this is Ian Lamont from In 30 Minutes Guides. Today I'm gonna to show you how to connect your MacBook to your television set and use the television set as a second monitor for the MacBook. You need a couple of things. You need your, of course, a TV. You need a MacBook. You need a remote control for the TV because you're gonna be changing some things on the TV. You also need an HDMI cable, which is this. This was actually just plugged into the Xbox that used to be connected to that TV. So I'm gonna be using it to connect this MacBook. The other thing you need is this, and this is basically a dongle, which has a USB on one end, USB-C, which connects to your MacBook. And then it has a bunch of different ports on it. And I'm particularly interested in this one, which is an HDMI uh, female connector. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the HDMI cable from the TV, it's connected to the back of the TV, plug it into this dongle, which I got off of Amazon for I think 50 or $60. I'll include a link to it in the notes for this particular video. Then I'm going to take my MacBook, which has two USB-Cs on it. I'm gonna plug this USB-C male connector into the USB-C female connector on the MacBook. Now, nothing happens right away except the TV, except your MacBook might shut off for a second. Take your remote control, find the HDMI port setting on your TV and select it. So it's HDMI 2, I know that. I'm gonna press select that. And there, now we have the MacBook mirrored on the TV. Now, we're not done yet because what I wanna have happen is the MacBook shows one screen, the TV shows another screen. So it's basically a dual screen setup with the MacBook as the as one and the TV as the second. To get that working, select the Apple symbol, system preferences, and then go to displays. You'll come to this screen, select display settings. And um, it's basically just mirroring what I already have for the uh, for the for both on the on the MacBook, but if you select this on the top one, it says use as main display. Switch it to stop mirroring. Both screens will shut off, then they'll shut back on again. They'll come back on again, and you can see the MacBook is not showing the same thing as the TV, which is what I wanted. And basically, what I can do at this point is I can turn on another app, like let's turn on. Uh, let's turn on Safari. And then if I want to, I can drag this over. See that? So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, let's see, turn on um, this website. Okay, so you can see I have the website on Safari on my MacBook screen, and then I have something completely different on the main screen up here. So if I wanted to like, open Word on this screen, I could do it and then have a browser going on that screen or Excel in something else. You get the idea. For more information on how to get the most out of the technology that you use every day, uh, check out the book series that we have uh, in 30 Minutes Guides, available from in30minutes.com. And we also have a bunch of different videos about using your MacBook with external monitors on our YouTube channel. If you like this video, if it helped you out, please like it and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. This is Ian Lamont signing off.